Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Cormon demo. We are in level 5, the last level before we get to the Titan. We have to figure out how to get through here and this is one of the trickiest levels that we have in the power tower and I believe, I would have to say that it is the hardest. You have to come through most of the time and find a bunch of switches and the difficulty is is you don't have much view of where you're going to go on the conveyor belts nor the surrounding area around the conveyor belts you just can't see the whole level here and that's really what gets us in trouble and really we can't do much of what i like to do in trying to find the what we need to get to and then back away from that just because you can't see everything as well here hey let's battle for science we're gonna be fighting may she has a two cormon let's see she's sending out a guild wing and we got our pat pitter bite here i keep on saying it wrong but we got a level eight the problem is that that guild wing is probably going to be going first but it does not so i'm a little intrigued by that agility train that i'm not sure increases it it's oh increases its speed so that's going to be interesting he'll probably be able to go first here the fast strike will be a devastating hit there but I think we've got him here as long as we could take one more hit and I would oh we're going even first here so uh, that guild wing is an awful slow one and should have used another fast strike I would have to think we've got a, quite a bit of experience there we are also looking we have several bear fruits that we haven't used and that increases your experience points when you get the next set of experience points that you get it increases it so what we're going to do is hand those out so that our guys get a little bit further along the limit of level in the demo is 25 so we're pushing that limit at 19 at 20 so i don't expect us to get very much further than 20 or 21 here just going through it just because we're not going to have those levels that grinding to get to where we need to be so we are un he's unable to move the propeller oh shoot do i want to heal i'm gonna have to well either way either i sleep or or not sleep but rest yeah let's go ahead and rest either i rest and lose the chance because he was knocked over or i switch cormon and lose the chance because he's knocked over so either way it's not going to help us out we're not going to get that advantage of him being knocked over there but that probably will do it yes okay bazer fainted we took care of her and pitter bite is up to level 20 so there's I think of four of our six Cormon that are up to level 20. Eureka! Now, I would like to see how we have them managed, though. Wow, everybody. Well, yeah, four of. So the Bezel is the only one that is not leveled up. And I would like to see how many of those bear fruits I have. I got six. So I think what we're gonna do is let Bezel get up to level 20 and then hand it out to everyone. I think that might be the best way to do it. So we got a vertical switch up here or a vertical line switch there. So, but I can't, oh, is this going back? No, that's not going the back the other way. I can't get out of, oh, the vertical one is right here. So it flips me back that way. I'm trying, if I flip this back around, I'm trying to see what we've got here first. Okay, I cannot go that way yet. So that's, so what we need to do is find the dot. 
because that's one thing that we need to change right there is we need to be go over to the left there so that we can get that angled one that's right there and that's going to get us up to where we need to be so what we need to do is find the dot switch which is actually right up there so let's run up here and flip that and i'm just trying to go through it step at a time so that we can get every little area as we go and that's kind of the idea here so i'll be able to flip this switch and then i'm gonna have to go i can't come down so i'm gonna have to what is up there is there anything okay nothing We've gonna to have to get up there probably and flip that switch as well, somehow. So we've got that bottom area figured out. That's flipping that one over there. So where can I go from here? Nowhere to go but up it looks like because that's gonna take me straight back down. Hey, I can go, I can go right. I kind of want to go over to the right to get that chest. But let's, oh, that's not really what I wanted to do. Let's see if we can, that's gonna get us that chest. I can go ahead if I get to the, that's taking me up. We can go really easily and beat this if we wanted to, just like that. Time for a change of pace for the security measures. I don't know where I came up with that voice, I'm sorry. Wow, okay, and in Bavo, I don't have anything that is particularly strong against him, I don't believe, but let's see if we can take him out with the poison stings. I don't think the Beezles really hurt of the fire either, so we're pretty well here. Even match, so to speak, although I do have an experience level above him. And oh, I missed. Uh oh, he oh he used to tough it up, so that's good. And then drop in that last one it should take him out. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe once we get through him, we can go right up to the Titan. But I'm not sure about that, so we'll have to see. He's now level twenty, but I'm gonna keep. You know what, I'm not gonna, he's gonna Aurora. So yeah, I'm not gonna switch him out because what I wanna do is, that's another thing. If you have someone that is strong, you really want to have him come out because that's going to make it the battle that much easier. One of the things that, oh, whoa, no. I did not expect that. I thought he was good against him. He is, but I guess he's also weak in some instances. Holy snap. I so didn't expect that. Let's go ahead and use that. And I hope he does not do that again because that was, wow, devastating. We just barely hang hung on to that one. He used beat up. Okay, I can probably handle that one. That's not gonna do as bad as that water one but he is going to get knocked out if he uses that water again 26 is just over half so i don't think there's going to be a i don't think that's going to take it oh no just under half it was okay yeah 26 would be 52 so we got him out but by the skin of our teeth there there's the, what is he sending out? A sheer tooth. I do not know what the, oh, okay. That's the water. That's the one that is focused on water. So we definitely want to switch him out. I think we're going to, we're going to test this. I think the lamprey is the, actually, I just noticed this guy has the three starting Cormon evolved. So he had the Imbavo, the Aurora, and now the Sheertooth, and there, yeah, I think that's it. There was only three. I, I can't remember if he had three or four or not, but 
this should take him down pretty easily here. What does that do? It increases the speed. Now speed is important. Who gets to attack first makes a difference in the end game sometimes. Bubble burst shouldn't hurt us too badly. I don't think not at all. Yeah, not very effective at all. But there we go. We got him taken care of, which is great. He has a faded. I thought she had three, but she may have had four there. We'll have to see if she has another one here. Nope, we defeated Jeffrey. Jeffrey, I just noticed. I can't believe I did not notice that before that he has the three starters there. Can you imagine if you'd be working at the top floor? So there we are, and that's one of the things that you can get into if you want to go back down. We can go back down and level up and find all the goodies and that sort of thing. But I think it would be in our best interest, not best interest really, but since we're up here, I think it would be good to go ahead and grab that. And if we so chose, we could then come back after we defeat the titan because we got some story i do believe past the titan so let's go ahead and have him all up and ready to a fight and you know just for funsies we're going to give him a bear fruit which is going to give him so much experience here and i think i could do yeah let's just go ahead and give our bear fruit out i would like to after this see if we can grab a perfect somewhere as well i have yet to see a perfect in this game which is going to be really cool if i ever get to find one. Oh, i can't go up to level five can i i was wrong oh i just got skunked there so we need to have the top one which is right there let's see if we can go down and get that one it's not there i'm gonna go ahead and flip this switch because i'm not sure what it does yet but we want to if we don't have to i really don't want to fight everybody and i'm going to end up having to fight everybody i believe hmm that's the bottom one i have not seen the top one yet and to get out of here, I could go that way. Let's see what's back up here. This is just all where I've been. I'm going to have to flip those up, but they're the opposite ones. So that actually does something for us. That gets us into a new area here in which we can flip another one. I want, and we go that way because I do want to flip that one. That's going to get us a different outcome up at the top i'm seeing if we can find the top corner top right corner one without fighting anymore no that takes it okay that takes it down and that's not really what i want to do what i wanted to do is take me over first and then down so we're going to have to do that little route again, I believe, in order to get. Yeah, so we're going to flip that one again. So that we can have the first one. We want the other one to flip the other way. So we want the one angled to the right to be flipped. And that is going to be probably over here with these two guys. Yeah, the one angled to the right. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to have to be over here with one of these two trainers that are over here, I believe. Let's see. We got that, but we can, we are not going to be able to sneak by him. That's for sure. I can't. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over here and get that, but that is all right. We've got our bear fruits in there, so we're going to get a little bit of experience on these. And these are the people that I want to have the experience in. 
I, if I had to choose, I would choose these ones here so that they'll be 21 or 22 so that we're a little bit better. If they're a little bit ahead, we can make that up later on. And I do both think he was equaling or maybe even doing a little bit more damage there than I was. He's definitely hitting really hard. Oh, so close. But I'm going to grab me an HP cake. Hopefully that's going to give me enough to survive his hit. And then we're going to be able to hit him. Hopefully in the next one, but we'll have to just see here. Let's see if we can get a scratch off here. No, he used his propeller punch. Are we going to hang on? We do not get to hang on there. And that is unfortunate. Let's go ahead and pull our guild wing out. We have to have that guy up and ready. The dig mall ready for the upper battle. And I may have made a mistake. Got a little too overzealous here, unfortunately. But both of these should be getting a lot of experience for that battle there. And he should be... Oh, he's sending out a Digmaw now. Too bad we can't have a Digmaw versus Digmaw battle. Let's try our Wind Blast. I don't know if it's going to hurt him particularly much. It was not effective, but it was not ineffective either. So that is good. Doing quite a bit of damage there. Oh, the constrict, the bad constrict. That's definitely one that can cause a bit of trouble, but that fast strike will take him out. And he got a lot, 2000 experience off that one. Holy, that is quite a bit there. Go there. And he is level 23, I think. Oh, yeah, we don't really want to distract. We'll go ahead and take off agility training. These are ones that I do not use. So we can definitely put him in the back there, in the back seat for now. Which get what is in there. The gold is nice. So let's go ahead and put our guild wing here. He's going to be our backup, I believe. But what I'm going to have to do now is revive unfortunately oh i didn't realize that a phoenix stone let's go ahead and use that and revive him all the way up to full health i'm curious of his sp though that's seven let's go ahead i have a plenty so i'm not too worried about that Hey, okay, let's flip. Oh, no, I did flip it. I need to find it's not down there. So what am I looking for here? I need. I feel that I'm missing this. And every time I go to play this level, I'm thinking the same thing here. Somewhere I'm missing something that switch and I cannot seem to find. Oh, there it is. It's right there. That's the one I need to flip. So we flip that one. We did not have to fight him, or nor do we have to fight that guy over there, the other trainer. So that's kind of funny. Well, not real funny, but interesting funny. <laughs> so that will take us up here and then up here. Where's the dot one? I thought we had the dot one. Oh, but that's the one we need to flip right there. That is the one we need to flip. And then we got to go flip the dot one. That's what it is. That's what tricks us up there is that that dot one is the one that we have to flip. So we're going to have to go back around, flip that one so we can make that roundabout here. We have to go all the way over to flip that dot back up. I think it's this one, which will allow us to go up higher. Flip that, and we should be, I think. Oh, no, we got to flip this one again, I believe. Yes. I think this needs to be flipped up. And then we are 
ready to go here, I do believe. And that will take us... Wait, can I... No, shoot. I do have to go up. I was... I was thinking I did, but then I was like, I'm not sure. Oh. Going up. Yeah, and then that's going to take us up past this guy again. And there we go. We are out of level five and heading on to level six, which will give us, I believe, one more... I think there's one other trainer battle in here and then we need to is it automated here yeah i see he sees us and then hey there hello you've come a long way you even managed to get past the security measures yes i'm on a quest for luff solas i need to reach voltar well you have almost reached top just one more elevator but you better make sure you're ready lucky for you We've got a checkpoint system in place right before encountering a Titan. Look. Yeah, so we got our check. We both looked down to the bottom of the screen. That's funny. So we do know about checkpoints. We ran into that in the Thunder's Cave. So I was thinking he was a battle, but I guess not. I I'm, I'm feel that there's another trainer battle before we get to Voltgar, but I might be wrong on that. It does not look like it. I am actually going to wow, give him, I'm going to give just for fun again, I want to move that bear fruit over to Digmaw because I want to see that experience explosion there, so to speak. But we have really quickly, we're going to make sure all of our guys are all full, the guys that we are going to use. So let's use some combi cakes to fill these guys up top them off to make sure they are all fit and ready to go and those are the three guys that we will be fighting against in the titan battle and we've been through that it's because they have the sand type is very effective against electric and then the cut type is also in the guild wing and the lamprey both have that cut type attack and here we are there's titan Voltgar is going to appear here and then we get to battle. Let's see what's going hey, I'm getting a little scary here. A little intense, but I really do like this character. I like the Titan and the whole concept and idea here. Yeah. So we get his. To get his essence, we need to beat him in a battle. And I do not believe it will be a tough battle. He is level 25, but considering the sand attacks being very effective here, it should be a fairly quick battle, I do believe. We may be, I should have put more of those shock cakes on there as well. So we'll have to see how that goes. Oh, that is pretty harsh hits there. Maybe I will not be able to. Was that very effective? I thought that said it was very effective. That's very surprising, actually. Well, let's see what we can do here. I am not sure that we are ready for this battle. I was kind of surprised there at how hard of a hit we actually took there. That spark disc is doing a lot of damage but it's it's a, a battle of who's could stay up the longest and i think with what i have i will eventually stay up the longest we're taking off quite a bit of hits each time but i'm worried that we are going to go down here very quickly Whew, i have to take off 416 hit points he has to take off 56. It's not quite the same amount here. We're going to go through all these. The Lamprey might be very good as well, considering that it is an electric type. So all these electric attacks are going to be not very effective. I like that. 
as well. Oh, we got no energy. Mm, how are we gonna do this? I'm gonna go ahead and rest. Hit him, use Digmall to take off at least half. So I wanna get him down to 200 and then we'll use the Lamprey hopefully to take off the, if it hits three times, we're down. Yep, so never mind. Hopefully it's the Lamprey that could do it. That was just so quickly like that. It can get out of hand for you. The problem here is that the cut attack here is not going to be as effective as the sand it is effective but it's not going to be near as effective as the sand there we actually yeah our speed increased there that's nice because it's such a lower attack it's not going to do so much damage what we're going to have to do is hopefully use lamprey as a buffer i think and we're going to and yeah his speed is going to get really increased here but i think the best thing to do here is try to raise the digma back up so let's go and use our phoenix shard on him that's going to be our turn and that's actually very helpful for us <laughs> that he ended up using that and then we want to use do we have a medium combi cake yeah that's going to be very helpful there so he should be full up on his attack there we're going to use lamprey a little bit more i think no hmm what should i do here I don't want to run here, that's for sure. Let's jump back over to the, I would like to see his, can I, no, I can see his sum right here. I can, can't I? I was just wanting to see, yeah, the claw is a cut type and it's that basic type, that weak attack type is not going to be helpful here. So we are going to go ahead and switch back to the dig mall so that he can do those devastating hard hits on him. Surge punch is so much damage there, but we can do a lot more against him. See, that was 30 some points, 40 points of damage or something. We're definitely doing a lot more. No, oh, uh, what is going on? He's doing something and I'm scared. <laughs> I hope that doesn't damage me. As long as it doesn't damage me, I think I'll be okay. Oh, interesting. More difficult for your Cormon to move. The problem here now is I'm running low on HP cakes, large HP cakes. I'm gonna go ahead and feed him a combi cake. I think that's going to be the best idea here. Taser's got electric. Oh, now he's shocked, which is not going to be helpful. I really hope Spark Discs does only hit once. Nope, two. Is he going to hit three? It's not very effective, but it still does a lot of damage here. We're holding on here very, very slimly here. Oh, that punt. Oh, is that a slap? That's a different one. Oh, wow. Holy, I did not expect that. Okay, let's try our guild wing. Woo. Let's see if the guild wing could do anything against him with the claw. I'm going to assume it's probably just like the other one it's very effective but because it does such little damage it's really not going to be helping that much i should have took that opportunity to raise the dig mall but we're not doing too bad here i gotta say with the claw being able to hit first does make a difference that super punch i don't know might knock him straight out 
Yes, it did. Holy wow. That does a whole lot of damage here, and I am in trouble. What do I want to switch to? Let's try... The Imbavel. I don't think he's going to survive the fight here. So what we're going to do again is use... Unfortunately, use as a... <laughs> A buffer here yeah I think a couple more levels would have been very helpful here can I go ahead and use another item can I just use items I use that Phoenix shard and I'm kind of surprised it's letting me use something else here here we go that makes him up to 49 and I think now that it, yeah here he goes he uses that punch so close we could do this dig maw just a little bit more out of you. That's all I need. He's been knocked out twice already in this battle. Wow. Spark disc. That thing is just because it hit that one or three times. Really devastating here. Okay. Let's see. And that depleting of my energy makes a big difference as well. Okay, we could do this. I'm going to go ahead and do this this turn and maybe even a a combi cake next turn depending on what he throws out me that surge. Oh, that one's not near as bad. Okay, good. I, because I'm losing so much. Nope, not squad items. Because I'm losing so much. What does he have? He has... Let's do that. That will be a better one, I think. Hopefully, we'll be up top enough here. Oh, great. That was awesome. Another rest for the Vault Guard, but we should be able to take him out here. 80. Yep. This another one. Oh, he got knocked down. Sweet. So good. That was a rough battle there, but we were able to get him and keep everybody well i think one is still 2000 experience points holy he's gonna level up two or three times it looks like oh that double slash probably would have helped as well if it was a cut type let's go and do that there you go there's two levels is it nope just two i wonder if the the Lamprey up to 22 as well. And the Bovel is up to 21. I wonder if that would have been a cut type there. You have bested me, human. Now what? Why have you come here? I'm sorry, but I need some of your Titan Essence. There we go. We got some of it there. And we get to uh, shoot on back to the... You dare take some of my essence? What do you plan to do with it? Someone like you cannot even begin to comprehend the power it holds. That's exactly what we want to find out. But don't worry, with Lux Solus, it's in good hands. Farewell. Do what you must. So will I. The Eye of the Storm will remain at Donor Island. I must recharge my energy before I can bend again. Valua counts on me. That is true. They have said on several occasions that they count on Voltgar to make it through. So uh, poor Guildwing got knocked out, which is not good, but we can revive. Oh, I don't need to revive him. We'll jump back to the Luxolus campus and heal him that way. I think it's all the way at the end. Yep. Oh, I'm not to re out to recall at this moment. So I guess we're going to have to exit out of the oh something else is going on what's going on no i'm a little surprised here wonder if oh i'm getting a phone call from hey rigel what's up hello stingray it's good that i reached you we finished analyzing the security footage and we discovered something problematic could you meet me and nicola at the buzzlet lab yes i can you shine bright so the buzzlet lab is here on a donor island 
but to wonder if I can go ahead and do it now. Can I do it from here? Yes, I can. I just want to get through the power tower without, without having to deal with the power of the tower. That was a tough battle here. And I'm curious if the last one we got if we were a little bit further along and got that double slash i believe that would have hurt helped us a little bit more it would have been a little bit more damage and probably let us get a little bit through a little bit quicker so to speak but we were able to make it i would have to say that 20 is probably the bare minimum that you can make it through there that was a rough battle and I probably should have had a few more full or medium HP cakes there. That would have been very helpful. But let's go over to the Buzzlet Lab and see what is going up there and see what they have to say as we finish out the demo once again. This is a great game and we will be covering the game when the full game drops, I believe this summer. So look forward to that. And we're gonna run up to a Buzzlet Lab and see if we get a little bit more information here on the story. Here we go. There you are, Stingray, come join us. Now that we are all here, let me tell you about the results. We researched the video, video footage extensively. What we discovered was unsettling. As I mentioned before, I suspected there was traces, tracers, trace, traces of a Titan essence left behind by Umbra Noctis. I was right. Umbra Noctis seems to be utilizing a new power bestowed upon them by a Titan, the power to brainwash people. That's terrible. What? How? I don't know any Titan with such abilities. Now that's the interesting thing. Neither do I. It seems that there is one more Titan in Valua, one whose existence has eluded us all until now. So originally we said that there were six Titans. Now there are seven. We are not sure where this new Titan is or how Umbra Noctis managed to obtain its power. We also don't know how we can defend against this brainwashing. So that's going to be a integral part of the story as we go for further but our brightest minds are working on it as we speak. As a response, we at Lux Solus have set up special training for all of our trainers at Lux Solus Campus Trainer Hub. Drop by as soon as you can, Stingray. When you do, we'll help you improve your skills at a trainer. I'll do that. Is there anything else I can do to help? No, you should focus on collecting all of the Titan Essence for now. We believe we can utilize the Titan's Essence you collect in some way to counter the powers from this new Titan. Speaking of which, how is your quest going so far? Well, we got the first one. Well done, Stingray. I knew you had it in it. For your next destination, you should head for the town of Paulberry. You can get there by traveling through Soggy Swamp. There you'll find Lugan, the Bender of Reality. That's kind of scary, actually. I'll head back for now and continue my research. Stay strong, Nicola. We will find a way to get Thomas back. Thank you, sir. Shine bright, especially in these dark times. So that's basically the story. Oh, we got Nicola to talk to. Sounds like you had quite an adventure ahead. I thought about it and I decided that you should have this potential reader. You'll probably need it a lot more than I do anyway. So we get the reader and I think that allows us to help sniff out high potential Cormon why we're in the grass and stuff. So that's kind of what it's there for. Okay, he has a request. Could you find some buzzlet for me? Well, I'll try. Yeah, so this reader can measure the precise value of a Cormon's potential. So normal will have, you know, maybe a one to something and then your potent will have like seven to 14 and then 15 to 21 is a perfect. I'm just dividing it up equally there. Yes, standard potent and a perfect. This kind of explains it all here, but we've been through this. We kind of know what we can do and what we need to do. 
but that is the episode for today we ran a little bit over but we were fighting the titan after all so i think that's going to be end of this series until the game is released again i believe this summer if you'd like to check out the demo there is a link in the description down below like always thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and i will see you all next time bye everybody